god. Like, like, I expect this from Marvel, but DC, man. Come on. You could have easily won the comic race if you didn't pull, do stupid shit. Let's be honest. <laughs> uh, uh, you guys, what is up? Lucky Hill Gamer. Oh, Spartan Grant here. And before this video properly starts, I've just gotta say, Jesus Christ. I don't hate the fat acceptance movement, okay? The fat acceptance movement is actually really good, and it should be applauded to some extent. You shouldn't hate on someone because they are fat. That is dumb. That is stupid. And you should always love your body. No matter what's wrong with it, you should love it. Even if you have to learn to love it, you should love it. But that does not mean you, can, you can't change your body, even though you love it. Anyway, with that off the table, let's talk about this, uh, wonder- Thick Wonder Woman. Let's- let's call it thick. It makes no goddamn sense from a frickin' business stand- standing point. Or a frickin- it just doesn't make sense. She's a fucking god. What god do you see that's a frickin' blob? <laughs> okay, she's- she's not a blob. That's- that's just stupid. God damn it. Oh god. No, she's not she's not a blob, but she's thick as hell and it doesn't make any sense. She is an Amazon. Amazons are basically freaking beyond human. They are they are the pinnacle of strength. And she's chubby. Like this isn't even the first time that this has been something like this has been done, but the difference is it's actually being freaking put out there by DC. It doesn't make any sense from a business standpoint, goddammit. It's dumb. Because why would you put any politics into something? Just keep it neutral. Neutral. If you keep it neutral, then everyone will like it. Sure, you'll have some of those people that are like, oh yeah, this is stupid because it doesn't have this in it. Oh yeah, it would be stupid because it doesn't have that, that in it. Who gives a shit? Everyone else just doesn't fucking care. But instead, you're like, no, I got it. I've got to freaking focus on these people who don't even fucking want the comics. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lose all our fans, but who cares? Because I did something right. I'm just pissed off, because could you imagine being the creator of Wonder Woman? You Okay, you created Wonder Woman, and you look into the future, wanting to see what they've done with your character in the future. Oh, you know, maybe, maybe just, 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 just maybe, she's... She's gotten some new powers, maybe. Maybe she's gotten a new look, a new suit. Let's see what she looks like now. Oh. They made an Amazon. Someone who's supposed to be the pinnacle of fitness. Chubby. What? How does that make sense? Oh, I'll tell you how. It fucking doesn't. It just doesn't. Any way you look at it, it's just dumb. Business standpoint, you're freaking going to lose fans because of this. Because they don't want to see polit politic political fuck me. I can't speak because I'm angry. <laughs> you got they don't want to see political shit in their comics. They already see it all over the fucking TV. Why the hell would they want to see it in their comics now? They don't. They want to see something neutral, and you're not giving it to them. Instead, you're trying to shove a freaking political agenda down their fucking throat. And it's dumb. It's stupid. It's beyond brain dead for a business standpoint. You should not be trying to shove your political sand in people's faces. Especially if you want to sell shit. The comics, comics have been in the shit for years. And they're not fucking learning. Ugh. Jesus Christ. But she's... She is a god. Well, she's not a god. She's a demigod. She's not a god. She's a demigod. Okay? It's basically the same thing. Demigod, god, demigod, god. She is the child of Zeus that's made out of clay. Yeah, it doesn't make that much sense when I think about it. <laughs> I, uh, uh, ah. it, it just, it's just freaking dumb. Like, super, look at every superhero, right? They've... Like, they've done this to every female superhero, but I've never seen someone make Batman fat, f the Flash fat, other than in the comics to make them worse. Like, on purpose. And 
why is that? Because no one cares about a fat man. It's obvious, but uh, who cares? Who really gives a shit at this point? But superheroes are supposed to be superhuman. A strengthy human. Someone with super strength. They're supposed to not... Why would they look normal if they're superhuman? That's like looking at freaking The Flash and expecting him to just have no six-packs, no pecs, just a normal-looking guy. Which I... When he's running around at the fucking speed of light, that's just... It's... It doesn't make sense for what's, what comics have been created to be. It doesn't make sense to make someone fat, unless that's their power, like the Blob from Marvel Comics. But no one cares about him, oh no, he goes for shit. And this has been happening for fucking years, they've been freaking making comic book characters who are supposed to look unrealistic. Why would they look realistic? They're cartoon characters, they're comic characters, they're not supposed to look realistic. It's stupid to make them look realistic. You freaking oofs. Ugh. It's as if they don't freaking s realize the point of a comic. It's supposed you're supposed to be able to put yourself in the character most of the time. Sometimes not, but most of the time you're supposed to be able to freaking see them. You're not supposed to be able to actually fucking be them. <laughs> Wonder Woman was, was you. You expect when you see Wonder Woman, you expect this beyond beautiful woman. You expect this freaking super strong, super beautiful. Super intelligent to an extent, because she doesn't understand the human world, but that's a different fucking story, she's still smart. You expect this amazing, per literally perfect woman. Not a boulder. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's not a smart business move. That's what's pissing me off. And when people say, Oi, this is stupid. She's she's not supposed to be fat. She's supposed to be like a pinnacle of fitness. When you see Batman, you don't think of someone, Oh, you don't... F when you look at Batman, you don't think, Oh, wow, why isn't he fat? Why isn't he thick? You think, Batman is the pinnacle of fitness. I wish I could be like that. And if I push my body, I maybe could be. You don't look at Wonder Woman and go, Yo, why doesn't she have fat rolls? That doesn't make any sense. She's a woman. That's not realistic. Of course it's realistic. Women can have body types like Wonder Woman. Women can have body types like freaking Susan Boyle. They're both realistic. Saying one's more realistic than the other is freaking dumb. Because people can do it if they cry. And the difference is, you don't try. That's the difference. Ugh. Shit like this just pisses me off. Leave... Content creators alone. <laughs> leave the people that actually make... Leave comics alone, okay? Just stop. <laughs> what do we do to you? When we have a character created... Cre if you want to make a fat character, fine. Go create your own. Don't mess with one that already exists. Marvel made freaking Snowflake and whatever... And Safe Space, which was one of the fucking dumbest ideas ever. For a different reason, but... <laughs> it's... It's not a smart move, just, you can make your own comic, you could, who knows, maybe, hey, if you made a fat, a comic about a fat girl, and it could become extremely unpopular, it could be about, it doesn't even have to be a fat girl superhero, you could do that, you very well could, but it doesn't even have to be that, okay, it doesn't, but instead you want to mess with something that already exists, a storyline that makes, com uh, not complete sense, a storyline that people already understand to an extent, and change it because, oh, she's a woman and she should be thick. Thick! <laughs> like, just piss off. Nobody wants you here if you're gonna do that. Nobody wants you to mess with the characters that we already love, that we ex that we expect. I don't want you to go over to my fucking Starfire. Yes, my Starfire, fucking fight me. I don't want you to go over to my Starfire and start fucking changing her. Like, I don't want that. You saw how it went when they did that shit to Wally West, like, and they made him black? Sure, black characters aren't bad, but Wally West was amazing. And then they changed him to the other one. And it was like, are you guys pulling my leg or do you just hate your fans now at this point? Like, they didn't even bring him back until freaking the 2000s. Actually, I think it was 2010s. Two tens. I don't fucking know. Like they, 
they just got rid of him, and it was like, what? They're gonna bring him back, right? It was like a freaking um Jason Todd scenario, just like they gotta bring him back, right? Like in a year or two, yeah, probably. Fifteen years later, why isn't he back yet? Why isn't he back yet? <laughs> And they changed him for the sake of changing him. They didn't change him because it would make a better story. Like, look, look at Miles Morales. That was a sick story. Miles Morales is one of the best... Well, I don't count him as a Spider-Man. I count him as a separate character. But if you put him on the Spider-Man tier list, he would be near the top. He would. He really would. Because he is just that good. He's done right. But when you, watch, when you read the story, you don't think, oh, they changed him for the sake of changing him. You think this guy had a storyline idea... And he decided to make it this, make the character this way, because it would help his character. It would help him connect to more people. Not, oh, let's change him because, uh, why not? Who eh, cares? No one's gonna get angry at me, are they? And if they do, I'll just call them racist or fat phobic or something. No, they did it because they, not because they could, because they should. It made the story better. DC. What are you doing? Oh, fuck's sake. It's the movies all over again. Even though you're doing better now, but you're going to release freaking the Snyder's Cut and it's probably going to be shit, let's be honest. I, I've, I've given up hope on you, DC. I've given up hope. I know... I say this all the time to people. If I got... If I got the rights... Somehow... To create a DC movie... If I was able to make the whole DC universe into movies... I would make it ten times better than anyone than anyone that you've given the right that you've given the freaking that you've allowed to make a movie because I actually know the fr I know the shit I know the comics I would make a better movie and here's the thing I would make a better comic now that's how dumb this is I would make a better comic character out of Wonder Woman out of the Flash out of Batman and any other fan would. Any true fan would be able to make a better comic character than most of the shit that you're putting out now. That's disgusting and stupid. And honestly, you should probably be ashamed that a fan can make a better storyline than you, any of you have. Now, the movies, more Warner Brothers, I'm not going to lie, but the comics is your regime. You were supposed to be the best. Play the Anakin meme. You were the chosen one. You were supposed to destroy the Sith, not join them, aka Marvel. But no, you, you just, you're screwing it up. Just stop it. This is coming from a fan. If you want to make a fat character, if you want to make a fat female character, fine. Do it. I don't care. Just don't mess with the characters that we already fucking have. Don't touch my Batman and make him freaking African-American transgender. Just don't. It's stupid. Keep him the same. There's no point in changing his character when his character is already fucking good. It's the same thing with Wonder Woman. Don't make her freaking fat for the sake of making her fat when she already has a good character, a good storyline. You're, you're just ruining the comics. You're ruining the characters. Stop it. Just stop. Make a different character. Make a fat character. Who will care? No one. Okay? And you can see if it succeeds. If it succeeds, good on you. Good on you for making that character succeed. Good on you. But if it doesn't, you'll just see the errors in your ways and you won't do it again. Let's be honest. But changing characters for the sake of changing characters is just dumb. It's not how you should run a business. Especially a business that relies on stories. It's stupid. DC, stop. Just stop.